So today we're going to be learning um, one of the last few letters we have left, and it's the vowel I. So there, we're on the 24th letter, so we have um, two more letters after this letter, and they both make the same sound. We have C and K left. And we're going to learn about the last vowel. This is the last vowel in the alphabet. It's the letter I. Remember, a vowel is a letter that makes two sounds. Let's quickly go for Q that we learned last week. Uppercase Q, lowercase Q, lowercase Q, qua, 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 Q, U, qua, Q, U, qua, Q, U, Q, U, qua, 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 and qua. When we put qua with the g sound at the end, we get quag. When we put qua with a p sound at the end, we get quip. We get qua with a b sound at the end, we get quab. All right, so I want you to say this after me. The name of the vowel is I. The name of the vowel is I. Say it back. The name of the vowel is I. The name of the vowel is I. The sound of the, the letter is I. The sound of the letter is I. Say it back. The sound of the letter is I. The sound of the letter is I. Right, so we have I, 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 I. Right, so think of some words that begin with the I sound, like igloo or um, iguana. But you can also have words that begin with the I sound, because remember, I is a vowel. It can say I, and it can also say I, like an ice cream. Or um, just the word ice. So you can have the is sound or the I sound with the vowel I. All right, so write an uppercase I is pretty easy. It's made of straight lines. You're going to do a line across the top, down to the ground, and then a line across the bottom. Um, but no, when you see a typed uppercase I, it doesn't have that line. It looks like an L. So be very careful because um, when you type an I, it looks like this. But when you write an I, it needs to look like this. All right, for a lowercase I, you're going to start at the middle line, go straight to the ground, and then put a polka dot on the top. All right, we will write the uppercase I a lot. Um, you use the lowercase I in a word, but the letter um, uppercase I, we write it a lot because we talk about ourselves. So I went to the store, you would write an uppercase I. It's always uppercase when you're talking about yourself. All right. We're going to make some slides with I. So we have R-I, and that says ri, like in rip. Rip. I try not to rip my paper. P, P-I says P, like in pit. I try not to fall in the pit. Then H-I says hi, like in hit. I hit the ball across the field. All right, so we have lowercase i, uppercase i, lowercase i. I, I, I. I, 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 I. I, I, we have b, f, b. So let's put those with some words. Big, big, fin, fin, like the shark has a fin. Did, did, did you eat the ice cream? Dig, dig, I want to dig a hole. Win, win, I will win the game. Dip, dip. I wanted to take a dip in the pool. Zip. Zip is a big pig. Zip is a big pig. All right. I hope you'll have fun practicing the letter I today. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys in just a few days. Bye, guys.